Hey guys, welcome back to Pokemon Black Nuzlocke Part 2. I got like a bug bite on my finger, I think, and I hate it because it's itchy. Um, we're going to catch a Pokemon. It's going to be our first catch of the Nuzlocke. That's pretty cool. Level 4 Levani. It'll counter that Gigalith. Um, we can put it to sleep easily. I could probably catch this without hitting it, which is awesome. Fucking love randomizers. Also, I never, I didn't really talk much about this game last episode because I was too focused on getting our starter and getting, you know, establishing the first episode. Wow, you woke up immediately. Okay, that didn't hurt very bad. Um, let's put you back to sleep. It'll probably be easy to catch if it's sleeping. I don't want to hit it for Lick because I'm really terrified I'll KO it. And I really need a Pokemon on the team that is not just Bolter because if I battle that Sentry again, it's not going to be good. So let's throw a Pokeball. Please catch. Oh, this is not going to not gonna be good. Um, I will throw three more Pokeballs. <coughs> Sorry. I'll throw three more Pokeballs to try to catch it. And once I get to the last one, I'll hit it with a lick to see if we could weaken it. But hopefully we could just catch it like this. Okay, thank goodness. Oh my god. We need this Levani. I'm kind of sad it's on Sawaddle. But um, yeah, I'm really excited. What I'm really excited about this Nuzlocke, it's going to be the first Nuzlocke where we have Pokemon that are not just from the first four generations, especially the first two generations, because I've done a lot of Nuzlocke that are, I'm oh, sorry, first three generations. I've done a lot of Nuzlocke that are only Kanto, Johto, and Hoenn, and um, not very much Sinnoh, and no Unova at all. So this is exciting. Get some new Pokemon to use in my Nuzlocke. Levani, the nurturing Pokemon. Upon finding a small Pokemon, it weaves clothing for it from leaves, using the cutters on its arms and sticky silk. And it's a girl. Let's think of a cool name for you. Her name is going to be Sona. So like Sona, like, like that's a name, but I spelled it like sewing, because it, it makes clothes. So I thought that was kind of fitting. So we got Sona, and we have Poulter. Um, I never looked at my Pokemon. I never examined Polter. Uh, he does have a dex number because we don't have the national dex. Um, so he's somewhat vain, bold nature. Bold meaning his attack goes down and his defense goes up, which is fine. I hope. Well, I don't know, honestly, because he gets Sucker Punch. And Lick is his only fighting move. So actually, Polter, you're not that great, to be honest. And then we have Sona, who is quiet, highly curious. It's carrying a Pokeball, by the way. Um, what nature are we? Oh, yeah, quiet. So your special attack is boosted and your speed is lowered. Mm, I guess that's okay. Yeah, they give me, yeah, that's the Pokeball I wasted. She just picked it up. <laughs> All right, so we're going to put Sona up front. I'm going to heal, and then we're going to grind her up like two levels really quick. Oh, level two Tauros. I'm glad. I'm glad Sona was at level four. So I'm just gonna grind. I'm just gonna take down a few Pokemon, get her to like level seven. I think would be a good spot. And uh, that way she could. I mean, she could probably hold her own in battle already. She has some pretty good moves. But I just wanna, just wanna make sure. The Tauros actually might just do it on its own. So level five. Damn! Look at those stab boosts. Okay, now. Man, there's a lot of Tauros here. What the heck? Uh, I did put the randomizer from global one to one, so a lot of these areas will have a lot of the same Pokemon because whatever Pokemon were there were replaced by another Pokemon rather than being random every single time. I kind of like that because it kind of makes it seem like, oh, Tauros live outside this uh, village, you know? It's like that's their natural habitat. I kind of I like that idea. All right, let's take down one more Tauros or Levani. Yeah, so far. I think this route only has Parrot and Lillipup. Um, it might have Padov. I 
don't think it does. I don't remember. I haven't played this game in so long. So Levani and Tauros might be the only things that are here. But um, even though each of our rivals are catching either a... Uh, would normally catch a Lillipup or Pat right here. I don't think that means they're going to have a Levani and Tauros respectively. Um, their team will be randomized every single time we fight them. Except for their starter. They will keep the starter throughout the whole game. So Bianca will have a Gigalith for the entirety of the game. And Charon will have a Centrip that eventually evolves into a, a Furret at some point. I think like level 25 maybe. Maybe earlier. Level 20. Something around there. Oh, you leveled up way more than I thought you would from that. Okay. Well, Sona's level 8. So that's cool. Um, I'll move her out. I don't think we... We battle our rival after the next town, I think. Hopefully I remember and I'll switch in time. Wild Pokemon are hiding in tall grass. What does this mean for you? It means you want to battle and catch and stuff. Cool. Is there an item around here? Uh, I played black and white and black 2 and white 2 the least out of most of the Pokemon games after this. I've played X and Y twice. Like, I played X twice, and I've played Y, like, once and a half. Moon, I played Moon once, Ultra Moon once, and Shield once. So, but I played Black, tw I, I played Black and White each once, and Black 2 and White 2 each once. Like, all the way through, so. I'm not well versed in this game, as I am other Pokemon games, is what I'm trying to get at. Alright, you, you're not a trainer, are you? No, you're just a waste of my time. Oh, I take that back. Thank you. Thank you, kind person. I, I didn't mean to be so rude. <laughs> I'm all, I'm all, you suck! While well, she's, like, giving me free samples. Alright. And then... I can't wait till running shoes. You go so slow. And I don't have a super speed button in this emulator, which is fine. Because super speed can easily be abused. Um, especially in brown and prism because those first gen titles go so fast if you use the speed of button compared to like black and or, or compared to like emerald and fire red since the number of pokemon has this is two we all have the same number oh my god it's a tie that's cool how convenient ah uh, i'm getting a phone call oh we're facetiming what's up so she's like, how you guys doing? And we're like, yeah, we're, we haven't really gone anywhere. Thanks for checking in on us. And then these two just kind of fuck off. Cool. And we made it to... Accumula Town. A small step in our adventure. I think there's a few items we could get in this town. Yep, me and my Pokemon and our friends. Hello. Oh, you're Pokemon. You're so lucky. I envy. I want to be a trainer too. Well, someday could. Trainer, how many Pokeballs do you have? If you think you don't have enough, it's a good idea to buy some more. Good idea. It is important to train your Pokemon battle, but then the HP goes down. Take them to Pokemon Center. Yep. I think there's a guy for piano up here. No, I think it's a different place. Someone said that because there are different ideas, disputes will arise. Someone else said it because there. Uh, I just said it. Wait, what am I saying? Ah, eh, whatever. <laughs> we just got married. Men and women are so different, aren't they? Are you saying men and men can't get married? And women and women can't get triggered? This this uh, game is based on America, so... I mean, maybe Japan... Maybe Game Freak is just trying to be culturally accurate, you know? Maybe they're not saying that men and men and women and women can't get married to each other. Maybe they're just saying that fucking Americans are prejudiced. Yeah. Some wild Pokemon jump out of the talk around? No shit. I'm going to ignore you. Later. I'll never use that Pokemon Center. What are you doing? Wasn't that the professor waiting in front of the Pokemon Center? I know about the Pokemon Center already. Anyway, I want to battle soon. Real battles are the best way to become stronger, you know. Well, I don't want to battle you. I know that much. Let me give you the benefit of my experience. You listening? The number of Pokemon you can take with you is well, six. Pokemon do everything in the power for people. That's cool. Pokemon are pretty neato. I see Team Plasma over there. We're just going to pretend they're not there. If you get strong, you can move forward. If you move forward, you'll get stronger. Huh, weird. 
Pokemon will be strong if you train them, even if they're weak now. Love is what's important. That's what Harry Potter taught me. And J.K. Rowling taught me to hate on trans people. Fucking bitch. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to come out of left field with that one. Um, yeah, I'm not going to get into it. Fucking J.K. Rowling being a trash human being. When a hero leads the world, the Pokemon is going to come and help the hero. Everybody in the Unifer region knows the legend. Yeah, I saw the movie. Oh, look at the pet rat. Scree, scree! Hey, this is a Pokeball I got in the past. I'm going to give it to you. And we got a Pokeball. Nice. We're back to six Pokeballs, baby. Thank you. What about you? What are you going to give me? Hi, hi! Let's play Pokemon Rock, Paper, Scissors. Yes. Uh, rock, Paper, Scissors, Grass. I won! Your Pokemon is Grass type and mine is Water type. Water type is weak against Grass type, so I lose. Alright. I was recording a video recently where I talked about how how stupidly fun makeup Re Rochambeau's are. Rochambeau being like rock, paper, scissors. Um, it's just another name for it. It's like the original name for it, I think. But just like making stuff up like rock, paper, fucking nuclear holocaust. Okay, maybe that one was way up there. And then you try to come up with something to counter that. I don't know why. I just It amuses me to this day how creative those could get, I guess. Um, yeah. I think I mentioned that in Do Not Die 7, coming to a YouTube near you, eventually. Wow, you have the great bag that can store anything. Why don't you buy a lot of potions and put them in your bag? Hey, Shall I play your favorite tune? Yes. You? Wanna play? You wanna play drums? You wanna listen to my drum? Yes. So if you haven't noticed, the music actually changes. They add piano to it and they add drums to it. It's really cool. Chip quip? Yup, that's what I say. <laughs> when someone's like, hey, do you want some Cheetos? I'm all, chip quip. <laughs> There's some items out there. We'll get those eventually. Um, actually, before I go to Pokemon Center, I want to see what the dialogue is if I talk to the Team Plasma people over here. Please excuse us. We are still preparing. If you could continue to be patient. Yeah, there's a, I feel like there's going to be some sort of a 3 a.m. presentation over here in this park. Um, let me go talk to Juniper for now, though. Ah, Hatlin, there you are. Traveling through Pokemon is truly one of the joys of being a trainer. Please follow me. I'd like to show you the most important place for a trainer to know. I already know what this is. I actually did remember that this is actually the first generation of games that they just start putting the store inside of the Pokemon Center. Really convenient. Very progressive. I'm going to buy 10 Pokeballs. I'll buy 4 potions. Sounds like something's going on in the plaza. Well, let's have a little look-see. What's going on? Hatlin, come here a sec. <gasps> My name is Getsis. I am here representing Team Plasma. Today... Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to talk to you about Pokemon Liberation! I'm sure most of you believe that we humans and Pokemon are partners that have come to live together because we want and need each other. However, is that really the truth? Have you ever considered that perhaps we humans only assume that this is the truth? Pokemon are subject to the selfish commands of trainers they get pushed around when they are partners at work. Can anyone save confidence that there's no truth in what I'm saying? Now, ladies and gentlemen, Pokemon are different from humans. They are living beings that contain unknown potential. They are living beings from whom we humans have much to learn. Tell me, what is our responsibility toward these wonderful beings called Pokemon? That's right, we must liberate the Pokemon. Then, and only then, will humans and Pokemon truly be equals. Man, I really wish I brought some chip quips with me. You know, while this guy fucking just goes on and on and on. Uh, we sincerely appreciate your attention. <laughs> just get in the formation. Protect the president! Go, 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 go! They leave, like, one opening from them. Whoa, and they fucking planted a guy in here too. About that speech, what do you think we should do? 
Liberate Pokemon? That's not even possible! Oh, great. Your Pokemon! Just now, it was saying... Slow down, you talk too fast! <laughs> I gave him like the slowest dialogue and Sharon's like, Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, man! My brain can't handle you talking that fast! I mean, what's this about Pokemon? Talking? That's an odd thing to say. Yes, they're talking. Oh, then you can't hear it either. Hmm, how sad. My name is N. It stands for... Because <laughs> they just got off that joke. I was thinking of just putting a bleep, but I don't want you guys to think I actually just said the N word, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> but that would be funny. Um, my name is Sharon, and this is Hatlin. He has a stupid name. Uh, we were asked to complete the Pokedex, and we just left on our journey. My main goal is to become the champion, though. This Pokedex, eh? So, you're going to confine many, many Pokemon and Pokeballs for that, then? I'm a trainer, too, but I can't help wondering. Are Pokemon really happy that way? Well, Hatlin, is it? Let me hear your Pokemon's voice again. That's creepy. Oh, yeah, we battle him. I wonder what N has. I think he... I just... I'm not getting some dialogue randomly. He has a Mistrevious. Interesting. Me and Ant, what are you doing? Oh my god, my cat almost just fell off a desk. What are you doing? You almost fell. It would have been funny. Oh, he looks mad. Well, it's cool that he has a ghost type like I do. Whose ghost type is better, though? Lick. Super effective. Oh, I actually didn't do as much. Oh, you're growling. My attack is already so low. More! Let me hear the voice of your Pokemon! Let's switch into Sona. Let both my Pokemon get some experience from this battle. And also because, you know, it's not going too well for, uh, for, um, Polter. Let's go Razor Leaf. Hoo -ya! Hoo -ya! Nice. Ooh! No, oh, that wasn't bad. Oh, I'm not part poison type, duh. For some reason, I thought it was gonna be super effective, but I'm bug and grass. Not bug or poison or grass or poison, you know. Nice, level 9. I never expected your Pokemon would say such things. My Pokemon are all fucking throwing slurs around and shit. Nah, Sona is quiet. She's a quiet nature, so she probably didn't say anything. As long as Pokemon are confined in Pokeballs, Pokemon will never be perfect. I have to change the world for Pokemon because they're my friends. Yeah, the stupidest thing about... I mean, not only is their uh, whole philosophy just like a ruse to do what they really want, but even if they did believe their philosophy all the way, I mean, N does, but I'm talking about Team Plasma as a whole. They're really hypocritical because they're like, nah, Pokemon shouldn't be like used like that. And then they use Pokemon like that for fighting and for evil purposes. It's fucking stupid. Huh, strange guy, but I'm not going to worry about it. Trainers and Pokemon help each other out. Listen, I'm going on ahead. I want to battle the gym leader in the next town, Stryanton City. Isn't that a triple battle? Or no, it, you fight every, you fight three gym leaders, but one at a time, right? That's how it is. Wonder what they're going to have. But, uh, yeah, um, I guess we're done here. We can move on. I can't wait till I get the running. I think I actually get the running shoes right here. So, what are you doing? Don't look at me like that. My cat's just reaching for things that he shouldn't. Hey, I'm watching. How can it be sunny outside if it's nighttime? That's just so silly. Ah. Uh, my finger hurts from like the bug bite. I don't know when it happened. Alright, should get a phone call like right here. Yep. And my mom's like, look behind you. She, she's like, it's your mom. How are things doing? Are you and your Pokemon getting along? Mom, you're breaking up. You sound weird. And she's like, no, I don't. I'm right here. <laughs> and we get some shoes. Hell yeah, dude. Could finally move faster. Hold the B button. Mom, what are you talking about? There's no buttons on these shoes. Wild. Alright, let's continue on. Battles between Pokemon trainers are serious affairs you can't run from. Uh, speaking of, on my Pokemon healed. 
Yeah, they are. Actually, no. Sona is hurt. Let's go heal really quick. Alright, so, Route 2, we could catch a Pokemon, we could get this item. It's Soul Salt. I love randomize. Yeah, I miss doing randomizers, they're so fun. Such a positive Pokemon experience. Um, so basically I could just sell it to a certain person. Just don't know where they are in this game, or if they even exist. Uh, I do want to catch a Pokemon before we do our first battle. It's a Tauros. It's a Tauros! I got the global one to one thing going on. So wait, does that mean every pat rat and every uh little pup will be one of these? Is that what I did? I don't know. Um we can catch it though. And I will. I'm actually I don't think it can hit me, so I'll do hypnosis. Put it to sleep. Pretty much gonna do the same thing I did to uh, to Sona when I caught her. Let's do Mean Look. So it doesn't run away. Not, I doubt it would run away. Wow, you even broke out of the sleep that fast, just like uh, just like Sona. I almost named Sona Leafyona. Like Leafy and then off the fee at the end of Leafy it was Ona, so like kinda like Fiona. But it's on too close to Leafy on, so I was like, ah, maybe not. Do I go for the Premier Ball? No, I'll go for Pokeball. We'll see the Premier Ball for something cool. Not that Tauros isn't cool. Tauros is pretty cool. It's a pretty strong Pokemon. We actually in my first ever Nuzlocke I ever played, fucking asshole. Um, my starter was a Tauros in Pokemon Emerald Randomizer. Um, my one regret with that Nuzlocke was, it was my first Nuzlocke, so I put a handicap on me, and it was that my starter could not die. So, that Tauros should have died many times, but never did. I could probably try to weaken it, but I, level 9 is really high, so I'm kind of nervous, so I'm just going to throw Pokeballs. And it's gonna wake up, it's gonna do nothing. And then I hit it with hypnosis. He dodged my hypnosis. Just accept it, dude. Just come with me, alright? I need a bowl. Fuck it, let's try the premiere ball. <laughs> maybe maybe I'll get it. Maybe it was meant to be. It was meant to be. He he wanted the premiere ball. I was like, premiere ball? Nah, save it for something cool. And he's like, I'm not fucking cool or what? I'm the fucking coolest. Watch. And then he fucking proved me wrong. Hmm, Tauros? Question mark? I don't know. Uh, the wild bull Pokemon. Once it takes aim at its foe, it makes a headlong charge. It is famous for its violent nature. Oh, you're violent. Let's name you. All right, his name is going to be Sirloin. I'm sorry, I named my Tauros in Pokemon Go. Alright, let's check out Sirloin. He's pretty jolly, proud of its power. Cool, cool. Uh, jolly means faster speed, less special attack. That's pretty good. Um, I think like something like Adamant would have been better. Make him a really hard hitter, but um, that's not bad at all because he's not going to have any special attacks. He's a very physical Pokemon. That sounds weird when I say it like that. But um, I'm going to move him up front, and uh, l I'll let him fight one Pokemon. Yeah, so this randomizer pretty much guaranteed that we were going to get a Taros and Lavani. Just the order, different. Oh yeah, I never looked at my Pokemon's abilities. All right, hopefully you could defeat this Lavani. Yeah, let's. I'll go heal him up and then train him. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you the replacement for Padov? <laughs> that is a weird looking Padov, guys. <laughs> oh my god, that caught me off guard. Uh oh. Uh oh. Padov is mad. 
Oh, it's an angry put up. Oh my god, I did so much. Okay. Maybe the team could collectively... Oh, Tri-Attack is a normal type, right? So it actually can't hit me with Tri-Attack as a Gaster. Oh, it could hit me a Bite for sure, though. Ow! Um, let's swap. Oh my god, this thing's a beast. This Padov is so strong. A lit literally a pseudo-legendary on fucking Route 2. Okay, you can take its attack. We just, we want to go for the kill. We don't want to weaken it. Go for the kill, please. We could use the experience it has. Dragon Rage, that's... Wait, isn't that 40? Oh my god. Fucking Padov is angry, man. That's a very pissed off Padov. Fuck that. No. No. My, no. Oh my god. It's stupid. It's so stupid. Ah. It had Dragon Rage. It had fucking Dragon Rage. Oh my god. I wish that was my encounter. That, well, actually I don't. It probably would have wiped me out. Ah. It's so upsetting. That, no. It's so upsetting. Oh man. Ah. Alright. Sona, you are our first Pokemon catch. You were gonna be our counter to uh, Bianca's Gigalith, but you got killed by a motherfucking dragon that you could have handled, but it decided to hold out on using Dragon Rage until I let my guard down. But you took a hit for the team. And you took a hit for your friends, because that Dragon Rage would have wouldn't killed any of my Pokemon. So I'm sad you have to go in Episode 2. Goodbye.